So you probably clicked on this video because you thought I was pregnant. And normally Adam and I are very against any clickbait sort of title. But when I was coming up with the title for this video, obviously like pregnancy or pregnant needed to be in the title. And we were just joking about how no matter how I word this video, people are going to still ask because people ask regardless. Um, I think the last time I took a bite of a banana in a video, someone said, started this rumor that I was pregnant because I was eating in the middle of a video. So, but this video has been requested multiple times. Anytime that I get a request for a video, for like a brand new idea that I haven't heard yet, I always write it down. And anytime that it like comes up again, I kind of like tally it up. And so this video request has been coming in a lot. So I figured it was time. So basically this video is going to be about what is safe, what is right, what you can and can't do to your hair while you're pregnant. Just gonna have to state that I know I'm not a doctor and I know that there will be some controversy in opinions on this. Um, so first of all, I'm just going to say obviously what your doctor recommends, obviously follow that. If you have different opinions, obviously you are able to do what you think is right for you and your baby, of course. So what I'm gonna be talking to you about is what I've learned in cosmetology, what physiologically happens when you dye your hair, when it's safe to color your hair, and at the times that it's not safe, what are your options so that you don't have to, you know, go nine months with roots. So the main question is just, can I dye my hair while pregnant? And the reason why there isn't like a yes or no answer to this is because it is a little bit complex. And the reason for that is because each trimester is different. So based on what we learn in cosmetology school, first trimester you should definitely avoid coloring your hair. So this means applying color to the roots where it's sitting on the scalp. Because during the first trimester it's just a time for major development for the baby. Because with anything even absorbed through the skin does end up in your bloodstream and so you just want to be careful. Um, like I said in cosmetology school, this is just a rule of thumb that first trimester you should avoid color. And by the second and third trimester, it is totally safe to do so. And both with permanent color and semi-permanent color, um, whether pregnant or not, it is just such a minimal, minimal trace of color that would end up in the bloodstream that it, it almost wouldn't make a difference. But just to be safe and to not take any chances, I think if you want to be extremely safe, just avoiding color that first trimester and you are good. Now what I do want to talk about is there are options still for that first trimester. So say highlights or balayage, anything that you're putting hair in a foil and that product isn't sitting on the scalp, then it's totally safe. Dying the actual hair is not dangerous to yourself or the baby. It's really just anything that is hitting the scalp. So for my clients that are pregnant and in their first trimester where they still want some color, I normally offer like a baby light, no pun intended there, but um, it just something to kind of soften up the roots. Another trick I like to do for my clients that don't really get balayaged um, or highlighted, but they do get color at the roots, one of the best ways to kind of like soften the roots there is I like to weave in a few pieces and apply color to that but using foil so basically you're still coloring or even lifting the hair with that permanent color but the color is sitting in foil so it doesn't actually hit the scalp this technique has also been used for people that are severely allergic to hair color another thing that definitely i don't think it's talked about enough but while pregnant coloring your hair in my opinion the most dangerous part or the part that you have to be the most careful with is actually the fumes and being in a well ventilated area I would say is the most important part. And I know that hair color now either doesn't contain ammonia or has really low ammonia meaning that the color actually doesn't smell strong at all. It is definitely something to keep in mind. And not only for the pregnant client, but this tip is for all the hairdressers out there that are pregnant. Um, definitely something also to keep in mind during that first and second trimester at least. And so now for my last tip or bit of advice. During pregnancy, your hormones are obviously working over time. So during pregnancy, you have this amazing head of hair. Your hair will grow faster. Your hair will be thicker, be shiny, healthy, and beautiful. 
and oftentimes after women deliver their babies and they come in to finally get their hair done, they are losing hair, which is very, very common. So my first bit of advice is don't be alarmed, it's totally normal. And my second tip would be to definitely not stop the prenatal vitamins right after you've had the baby. Um, you take the prenatal vitamins to prepare your body um, for it to be in its optimal health to care and nurture this baby um, so that once the baby is born, you need to take care of yourself. And those vitamins definitely help through that stage, especially for your hair, skin, and nails. Um, obviously taking biotin would be a great option as well. I've mentioned that previously in my videos, but I highly, highly recommend sticking with the prenatal vitamins a good few months after you've had your baby. Some women continue to take them if they are breastfeeding, but whether you're nursing or not, I would definitely stick with the prenatal vitamins um, just for a few months, just so your body kind of gets back into the groove of things and your hair kind of finds its way again. So that is it guys. Hopefully this video has been helpful for all the mamas to be out there. Um, if you're watching this and you're not pregnant, hopefully you can pass on some of these tips along to your friends. Also, don't forget to share this video with a friend that might be expecting. Definitely helps me out and it can help them out as well. Also, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you have seen that I've announced that I am a new ambassador for T3. I am absolutely honored because I love their hot tools. You guys know how passionate I am about all their tools. And I also mentioned that with this ambassadorship, I am able to do a lot more giveaways just because these tools are so amazing. So just look out for those series of giveaways coming your way. What's amazing with T3 also is that they pick the winners, they ship you out your products, their customer service is amazing. So I know you guys will be just as impressed as I am. So anyway, look out for that in the in next couple of weeks. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.